Proper Installation for Performance, Part 2. Welcome to Building Knowledge 101. Watch as we discuss how to properly install curtain wall systems to ensure they perform as intended, including paying proper attention to critical seals. So we've covered three points. The last point I wanted to cover with you is installing the system to make sure that it performs as it's intended to. It's easy to put a curtain wall system in and make a simple mistake that prevents the system performing as it's intended to. Here's an example of what a horizontal, your typical horizontal member looks like. We consider this a wet area. Moisture is going to be in here. So there's a weep hole here in the pressure plate, then there's a weep hole here in the cover. This is a pressure equalized system. So as moisture builds up in here, the air pressure around the glass is equal to the outside pressure. So water will freely weep out of the system to the exterior. So what it kind of looks like is this. You can see our covers being removed. There's a weep hole and moisture that's coming out of the system travels along, then drops out of the weep hole at the bottom of the cover. Now, what you also notice, those are staggered. They're not lined up with each other. The weep hole in the cover and the weep hole in the pressure plate are offset. And that's so that wind-driven water won't have a direct path back up into the system. It has to turn it in a corner. It's not going to do that. So that's prevent wind from blowing moisture back in. So look at this system. There's quite a few things that went wrong here. I think starting off, notice that this uh, brake metal here on the outside is sloped back toward the curtain wall. That's moisture sitting here. You need to make sure we have a positive slope away from the system on the outside to move water away from it. So probably what happened here was this is sloping back inward. Water probably eventually broke some place down or found a hole, started weeping to the interior. So the maintenance crew came and ran a silicone joint here along the outside to keep water from getting under the system. Well, that blocked the weep holes. I showed you the weep holes just in that prior slide. We don't want to run a cosmetic seal under the sill. So they did here. It looks like it blocked all the water in. Water started probably weeping to the interior, so they came out and drilled weep holes on through the covers here. So this system was installed because the sill sloping back toward the curtain wall. It was installed destined to fail. The system was not going to be able to perform because water that was weeping out of the system was being pushed back into it by the sill condition on the exterior sloping back toward it. So again, here's what your sill condition looks like when it's properly weeping. You can see moisture on the inside is going to channel down, weep through the pressure plate, through the cover, and then through that gap under the cover to the exterior so it gets to the outside properly. Then here is the hole, weep hole in the pressure plate. And this is the cover on the outside. So most fabricate, most installation instructions are going to say that this hole is cut to a different dimension from this one. The hole on the pressure plate was three and five eighths in, I believe it was and in the cover it's two inches, but the point is those are staggered so that air does not have a direct path for water going to the interior. So if you look at this pressure plate, remember now water is going to get into a curtain wall system. It's going to drain down the verticals, hit the joint plug, and out onto the horizontal. So the purpose of the weep holes is to get water out of the curtain wall system. But if you notice this one, the weep hole is down here. That's not where the water is. The water is up here on top of the horizontal. So when this horizontal was put on, it was put on upside down. So water's trapped in. There's no way for water to get out of the horizontal here, which is where water was going to build, be building up. All this did was allow air to get around the curtain walls, around the insulated glass unit. Now, this is a pressure plate system. So when the pressure plates are installed, they've got to be installed on correctly per the manufacturer's instructions. Typically, what they're going to say is locate your fasteners nine inches on center. When you come to joints, intersections like this, you want to locate fasteners within three inches each direction of joints. So there should be a fastener out three inches here, one no more than three inches here, and you can see the top and the bottom one. From that point, they can go on to nine inches on center. Now, this is critically important. Again, it's a pressure plate system, so the fasteners have to be put on there very tight. Most manufacturers are going to say to torque the fastener down within 95 to 100 inch pounds. And that's to put compression and pressure on the gaskets, compressing on the insulated glass unit. Now, the gaskets are going to relax over six, eight, nine months. So when you install the pressure plate today at 95 inch pounds, if you come back in nine months or a year, it might be down to 
80, maybe 78, because they're going to relax. So your pressure is going to loosen up a little bit. So that's why it's so important that initially when they're installed, you get the correct amount of pressure that each manufacturer says their system needs to have to perform properly. Now, if you look at these fasteners, these were probably not the fasteners provided by the manufacturer, because if you look, you can see a gap. You can see threads here. You can see a shadow under the head of this one. You can see a shadow over here. So these fasteners probably bottomed out in the neck of the system. They were too long, probably were not provided by the manufacturer. They were purchased uh, off-site someplace. But the point is, when they installed the pressure plate, these fasteners were not putting sufficient pressure on the pressure plate. So as wind started blowing, that glass starts pumping in and out because it had room to move. And that pumping is going to bring air and water right through to the interior. So installing the system so that it can perform is critical. So following the manufacturer's installation instructions to get sufficient pressure on the perimeter on the pressure plate fasteners is so very, very important. So to kind of wrap up, let me just review again. I don't want you to think that you're now a curtain wall expert, but I do want you to see how certain simple things happen repeatedly time after time and have led to failures. But they're simple things that now hopefully you can identify. If you start to see it going wrong in the field, you can flag it and catch it. But the first one starts with making sure we've got the system correct. We know what to expect at the job. What's the wind load? Are there codes we not have to comply with, like blast mitigation, high velocity wind zones? Are you in a seismic area? What are some of the drivers to make sure we get the correct system for the project, we get the wind load correctly? And then making sure we're installing the system correctly. Follow the manufacturer's installation instructions to anchor the system correctly back to the structure behind it. So that as the structure moves, the curtain wall will move with it and still maintain the big building envelope. And then during the installation sequence, pay critical attention to internal seals. No metal metal joint is waterproof. They all have to be sealed up. So make sure all those are done correctly. And then just ensure the system installed so that it can perform properly. It's easy to make a simple mistake like that pressure plate turned upside down. So the weeps are underneath the glass instead of at the bottom of the glass where or the weeps at the head of the glass below instead of at the bottom of the glass above where water is going to be accumulating and giving us a proper positive slope away from the curtain wall on the outside so that it can perform correctly. That is all we have time for in this video. If you'd like to watch more of our 101 video series, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Conair Company, Inc.